dollar. Oh, okay. It says restaurant parking in shop. On our way to the restaurant to level three. Join me for my birthday dinner at A by Jose Andres. I'll take you on a journey through 21 courses. I hope you're hungry. Are we even going to the right area? <laughs> hey baby, I don't think this is it. <laughs> Wrong! I think my hubby is gonna go ask. Oh, so it is here? So those are yours to eat. Okay. Alright. So to get your experience started, we have you seated at this table right here. Okay. When everyone arrives and the time is close they escort you down to the main room. Oh, okay. So right here you can get your drink started as well. Cool. Okay. Wow, look at that fire. Tastes like eating a real stick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I would just say it's like a sprout. It's not really pretty to look at. This is our room. Oh, okay. People standing with scary people. See, this is what happened. My husband didn't pick <laughs> up my seat for me. No, I did. <laughs> After you have seated yourself. <laughs> well, how's everybody? Good. 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 Well, everybody, welcome to A. You have now entered the mind of Chef Jose Andres. And uh, as we explore as much tonight, we'll be tasting around 21 courses, all celebrating the cuisine of Spain. So in front of you, you'll notice Chef Jose's hand, and he's handing you a warm towel, which you may go ahead and open. Inside, you'll find some fresh herbs to help put you in a Mediterranean mindset before we get started. Also, our first few bites will be with your hands, so it'll be a nice little cleanse before we get started as well. So our concept is very simple. Behind that door, we prepare all the food, we plate everything in front of you and present it with a brief description. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me. Renita, with compressed apples, cherry pearls, and fresh mint. So once again, welcome everybody and salute. Sitting on top of a walnut raisin cracker. So the idea here is you want to get both the rose and the cracker in one bite. But the paper is not edible. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Not rice paper. Not rice paper. <laughs> and directly following that, we call these ones stones. Oh. So the cheese is called Idiasado. It's a sheep's milk cheese from the Basque region of Spain. And it's coated in a crunchy Iberico jamón and cocoa butter outer shell. We call these ones Spanish pizza. So the cheese is called San Simón. It's a smoked cow's milk cheese from Galicia. There's also a San Simon cream and micro basil. Wonder bread. This is an apple meringue, foie gras, and Harry's berry strawberry. It's meant to be eaten just like a regular sandwich, so enjoy. Cool. Uh, this is an air bread <clears throat> filled with tomato, olive oil, and spuma, and on top we have sliced viverco de beota jamón. This one is liquid on the inside, so I recommend one bite, but you might get a little messy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So we started you guys with a red wine sangria, now it's time for white. Inside of these spheres is a kava sangria with compressed apple and mint. So with this one, I would place it inside your mouth, pop it with your tongue, but do not bite it. And I say that because if you do, you might have a little bit of Okay. So with that being said, salute. So what better to go after those shots than uni and Iberico Lardo? So this one is a fried sea urchin cracker with fresh cocado uni on top and draped over that is Iberico Lardo. Now this one is a little delicate, so I just recommend using the paper to help assist you. Here next we have asparagus and escabeche. This is white asparagus from Holland, a royal and centric caviar, nitro egg yolk pearls, and an escabeche here. Next course we call this one live scallops and truffles. So these are live scallops with a truffle cream and fresh shaved summer truffles. So here next we have changuro al honestiado. This is a dungeness crab dressed with a traditional Spanish sofrito. So there's two parts to this dish. First, we're going to need this vial of crab broth. You can go ahead and pour it on top of the crab and follow with the spoon of toasted breadcrumbs that you had beside the crab. Foie gras cream with mandarin oranges and almond milk and fresh shaved summer truffles. So here next everybody we have platija. This is fluke on top of a chicken and pork picadillo and a chicken jus. Kind of our little take on serving turkey. And this next course is called chuleta. This one is Australian Wagyu ribeye with potato gnocchi and brown butter sauteed morels. candy empanada filled with foie gras and corn nuts. And so with this course we have a traditional, not so traditional pre-dessert. This is a miel y mato, which translates to honey and cheese. So here we have a fresh cheese snow, a honey gelée, milk espuma, and brown buttered brioche croutons. Look at that chili there. Chili there. And then cold heart there here. called inchao salsa. So inchao salsa is a Basque dessert technique of making a cream-based sauce from walnuts. So here you have a walnut cream with fresh cherries and a strawberries included. So this dessert is plan. This one is a vanilla custard with a bitter caramel, an orange syrup, and a touch of snow. First round of dessert bites, we're going to start on your left and then move to your right. On your left, we have puron. Puron is a popular Spanish candy with have almond and nougat. So we have created an ice cream with an almond cup. And on top of that, we have a 24 karat golden marcona almond. And on your right, we have a cherry bone. This cherry is liquid on the inside, so I've got it with two hands, place it in your mouth, and pull it from its stem. You'll be able to blow out a little bit of the liquid nitrogen smoke as long as you bite it. Oh. When you move to the middle, we have a white chocolate and saffron tablet. And then on your right, we have a gin and tonic marshmallow. You've watched us use our tweezers all night, mm -hmm. so now we'll give you a chance for you to use a pair of your own. <laughs> so go ahead and use these tweezers to find those chocolate leaves. We are supposed to get golden tickets mailed to us, but they ran out so they said they would give us the tickets when we arrived. But because of that, we didn't know where to go. The ticket actually tells you to check in at Helios. That's why we got lost. It's not that hard to get tables. As long as you book one month in advance, you can book it through their website. The dinner was $250 a person. Additional wine pairing was $150. Time here. Um, 
The food was really good and watching them prepare everything in front of you that was really good too. I love my whole experience. It was the best birthday present and hopefully you would like it so you can go to the restaurant yourself. And please subscribe to my channel and everything else you need to know just please leave a comment below and I will try to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching my channel and remember to subscribe. Bye! Thanks for watching my vlog on A by Jose Andres. I'll vlog you next time. Bye!